In this video, I am going to show you another tool to run large language models locally on your laptop or on any cloud instance offline and privately. This tool is called as Lord of Large Language Models or LOL LMS. This has a core library plus a web UI. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the web UI locally on your Windows laptop. You can either run it on CPU or GPU. It has support for both. I'll drop the link to this GitHub repo so that you can also read along. But let me show you how you can install it. Scroll at the top of this GitHub repo. And then you will see this releases option here. Click on latest. The latest release which I'm going to download is version 7. So click on latest here. And then it will open this page. Here you have various options. You can install it for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. I'm going to do it for Windows. So let me right click on it and I'll just say save link as. And I'm going to store it on my uh, desktop and I'll just call it maybe lol lms and save. That is good. Now go to that directory. So you can see that it was downloaded. Sometimes your Windows Defender or any antivirus might block it because it's a batch file. So simply allow it by clicking on that file uh, in the browser on the top right and it should install it. Now right click on this file and run as administrator or you can even open it like this. Otherwise uh, you might get an error, but that is fine. And then press any key. I'm going to press um, Spacebar, it says enable Coda GPU because I don't have GPU on this machine. So I'm going to just simply say C. It is installing it as you can see. I'll make it a bit bigger. Let's wait for it to finish. It is still processing. It is installing some of the prerequisite packages like Python 3.10. Toolchain, Ninja, Git, and a few other things. Let's wait for it to finish. It is still working. After guessing the packages, as you can see that it is installing them. Shouldn't take too long now. Hopefully. And it also depends upon your download speed, your bandwidth, and also your hardware. I have one GPU on my laptop, but I haven't installed the driver and I'll prefer to use CPU because that is what most of the people are using. So let's go with CPU. It's still installing all the stuff. As you can see that it is now cloning some of the repos and there is a lot of things which it, it has already installed. I'm pausing the video so that, so that you don't have to watch it all, but it is taking quite a long time. Let's wait, it is still working. Okay, as you can see, after a long wait, at last, the installation is complete, as you can see on your screen, hopefully. And then uh, I will just. Okay, so you can see here what I have done is that before model zoo, I have done this binding zoo. I have clicked here and then um, I have simply clicked on hugging face because hugging face models are the one which we want to use. I will also again reiterate this section. Uh, while it runs, maybe I could show you. So once it is, it has opened the installer and I'll show you. If I go down, it is installing all the dependencies here too, what I'm downloading. But 
So one, once it's open in the local host, I give it to the settings and then in the binding zoo and then I clicked on hugging face to install this hugging face binding because I want to use hugging face transformer models or even GPTQ. And as it, it installs it here, you can see that it is also working here. So you can either check it from the progress from there or the details from here. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so all done. You can see that it has given us the response here in our terminal. Also, it is showing us that hugging face binding is done. Beautiful. Now let's go into the model zoo. Scroll down a little, and from here you can uh, click on this hugging face bindings, or you can download it from web. But I'm just going to search it in this model zoo. In the semi scroll. Nothing. Okay, what about this? Download from the web. Okay, maybe I'll just uh, go to the Hugging Face website and download it from there. What about this Hugging Face leader face leaderboard? Okay, it is just taking me to the leaderboard. Let me go to Hugging Face website and get the model. Okay, because I was hoping that it will appear automatically in the model zoo but i think the reason why it is not appearing is that i haven't clicked on apply changes here now configuration is safe hopefully now it will be able to search it oops okay maybe i need to reload it and i'm sorry i know i'm fumbling on the video but i really want to do it online instead of presenting you a clean cut uh, version because this is how we all learn let me search it now I was also hoping it will show me some of the models here. I think this can be improved anyway. What about here? Nothing. Okay, I'm going to go to um, Hugging Face and then maybe select it from there. What about this binding too? Yep, it is already found. Maybe settings. Device map. Cool. Okay, let me go. Go there and go to the Hugging Face website. So Hugging Face URL didn't work at all. So what I'm doing it, I am installing this C Transformers one. It is done, as you can see here. So I'll just um, close this after doing the C Transformer model zoo, and then no binding selected. Why right, saying no binding selected? Okay. Do I need to apply changes? So I click on save. What about now? Maybe I'll just reload it. Well, so far, terrible tool, I would say. Um, LM Studio and various other tools are way, way better. Okay, now you can see the C transformer is done. Click on settings. Okay, these are just simple settings, save changes. Maybe I need to click on here. Okay, this is good. And nothing else to refresh now. I'll click on model zoo. Let me search maybe Airboros. Nothing happens. Miss crawl, nothing happens. Cool. Now uh, add models for binding. I'm not adding anything here. So well, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or if this tool is simply terrible. Maybe I'll refresh it here, save from here, click, and nothing. It is, okay, it is refreshing now. Let's see what happens. There you go. What about terminal? I have, okay, it crashed eventually. I think it's better for it to crash anyway. So pretty disappointing tool. I mean, uh, I'm sure if we troubleshoot it more, somehow it is going to work. But all in all, I think uh, I'm not really uh, going into the trouble of uh, battling with this tool um, because we have various other tools which we can use to install it. But if you think that I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments and happy to do the video again if and uh, admit my ignorance 
anyway i hope that you enjoyed it this fumbling if you have any questions or um, comments please share it and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much